one at a time, once we finish with it, we put it in the black bag. Then we take the piston and the spring, they should go like this inside and then the solenoid will activate them. We clean them, we put them in the same Ziploc bag and label them as number one. So then we put all of them back in the same order they came out. Here I have the solenoid, the piston, the spring, and the pin that uh, hold the solenoid in place. To pull this, actually it's very easy. You just press on the solenoid and then the magnet will pull the pin that holds the solenoid in place and then the solenoid should come out like this and it's very dirty and to take this apart I made the supplier and the way it works put the, pist the solenoid in this cylinder and then the pl I alter alignment plier and I round one end over here to match the roundness of the solenoid and then I just do this and it will open it It's sticky a little bit, but this one better than the other one. Yeah, it has that grit inside it. All right. Same thing, I take the number 21 drill bit and go in reverse motion so it doesn't start eat the teflon until it's lined up with the other bushing actually it does now once it's in It has a lot of buildup inside it. Go from the other side. Uh, 
I clean all the parts. This one here, it's a flared from when I open it. To straight it up, I'll put it in this. Actually, I need to use this model shim. So it will fit all the way in. And uh, then I have this tool. I machined it to the same size as this part over here and as the solenoid. This part. So this is the same size. And what this does, I will hammer it in. It will hit this register. That's where the, uh, the coil actually will stop. And also it will hold uh, the top piece or the valve on and then we crimp it on. So I put this, it fit all the way in and then I beat it with the hammer. It will go all the way in and it will straight it up. I don't want to beat on the table and have all the parts go everywhere. So once again, this will go inside and it will stop at the register. push it all the way in it round it perfectly and this thick uh, shim it help prevent any damage to this part it's all round and clean Okay, once again, we make sure the brass washer inside and everything clean. We blow it with it. This is all clean. The body also clean. There was a lot of material came out of this metal shaving and uh, disc material. And same thing, that's little line over here. It's gonna line up with this part over here. Okay, this is the second solenoid piston. The spring has a color red on it. And same thing, we're gonna clean all the parts, we're gonna put them in the black bag and label it as number two. Once again, we're ready to do number three. We're gonna use the Looney Tune magnet. Press on the solenoid. And the pin out. And then we're gonna clean it and do the same thing. And I'm reading 5.9, so it's good. And uh, here we go. the plier, we're gonna go along.
just a little bit more Oops. we retrieve this flying part and it's still good came up and this is the third one same technique you go the drill bit counterclockwise so it doesn't eat of the bushing and once it's in all the way through this was hard to fit in but I already did some cleaning to it and now we go from the other side about 20 seconds and should be good to go the third solenoid has the piston and a white spring they put some color on it and of course it go the spring down like this And the armature, once again, the brass washer. This being cleaned. This being cleaned too. The mark over here go on the plastic and we're gonna press it in just to keep the valve down And it's already held it in place, but didn't crimp it all the way. Now we go with this side. And that's four ton of pressure. It's very solid. Done.